Welcome back. You're still watching The Spot. It's time for us to check out today's spot of music, and it is Terry Akbala. Marriage records, face bond ability, Terry Akbala. I'm going to be doing it, I'm going to be so cool. For you, I don't know, that's the way I'm sorry. How did he learn that voice? I think he just has it. No, but honestly. So people who do just have it? I feel like they just do because if you try to do it, yeah, you can't do it. And so they you all have to like, have it. I think. It's Fuji, right? Yeah. I was like Pala music or what? I don't know. Is, mm. is that a genre on its own? Because everybody who does that mm -hmm. has that. Yeah. You I, know. I don't know if it's something that because you're in it when you're young sort of yeah, uh, like you're, start you start you, and you kind of cultivate your voice that way it's yeah. like um the to be extreme like bollywood uh, yeah. no matter how good a voice beyonce has she's not going to sound like an indian singer you know what i'm saying yeah. so i don't know how it's how that's done if it's something they cultivate from like when they're young to just get yeah. their voices to sound that way or that's how their voices sound so this is the genre that fits the most because he's not going to sing r b with this voice so yeah. you know what i mean he's not going to try and Maybe it's a very interesting, it. and I find that you, you find it a lot with, like, if you go to, like, weddings, yes. people do the praise singing yes. outside of the wedding venue, yeah. they all sound this way. Yeah. And you have some people who have made it an art form, like, mm -hmm. and he's, like, the first who's trying to make it mainstream now, or crossover into, I don't know if... Well, I've maybe not the first, him. but he's, yeah, I think yeah, most like, successful. crossover, like, for, for this generation, for at this least, generation, yeah, because you've had other people, of course, who've been successful with it. There was a guy I saw a couple of years ago at... Um, he performed at a musical, Waka the Musical, and he performed John Legend's All of Me in like this sort of style, this Fuji sort of style. And he was a contestant on the music reality show. I'm not sure if he won or was like runner up or something, but I know he was like at least, at the very least, top three. So he was, he, he did quite well. And I know he was really, really popular while the show was going on. But then since then, I really haven't heard mm. much yeah, from him. So it's I a tough genre to sell. So I guess. It's a tough genre to tough sell genre and to you know sell. make commercially successful. Yeah. So but I mean, he's it. doing well with this whole trap, Fuji yeah. trap thing. I mean, it's how long is it gonna last? And is it just a I phase? can't see like a Wasu jumping on trap. You know, yeah. But first of all, Wasu doesn't need Fuji trap money. Yeah. Wasu's making plenty of bank without all, right. all of us buying any of his uh, <laughs> his music per se. But anyway, um, it's time for us to bring in our guest of the day. She is a performer, a singer, a writer. Please welcome Monica Oga. Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you guys so How's much. How's it going? Great. She Hi, has a Booker. voice and a half. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, welcome. welcome. I like the shoes. Thank you so much for Pass having me. on the throne. Yes. Like, oh, where? Here? Yes. Oh my gosh. You are now on the throne. You are not the queen Hope of the I'm house. not on a hot seat. Put your leg on the... Where? Do I have fun? Really? Hey, <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to let's go. How market? Mm. Market do. Is it selling? He's not pressing you. No, he's yeah. selling. He's selling. Yeah. Very we are important. going to the permanent site. We'll get there. <laughs> So is that singer, writer, performer? Performer. Yeah. So you write. You, do you write for other people? Yeah. Or well, you write for other people? Yeah. Can do you they tell give us you who? credit? Well, they do. Hmm. Do they pay you? Yeah, of course. Who are these people you write for? Okay, I have written for Dance Here. Okay. Yeah, I think I did a couple of songs, two or so. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also wrote for some of the Project Fame. Uh, okay, alumni. Yeah. And then I've also written for some people that wouldn't want me to mention their names. Ah. That's what I was waiting for. Yes. Why do they always want Why? to hide well, the identity of writers? The thing is, in Nigeria, sometimes some artists think they're supposed to write their music, which I don't feel it's a problem. Yeah. yeah. You know, if, if I wasn't a writer and I was a, I was a singer, and I need someone to help me, you know, construct something good, I would, I would do it gladly. And, you know, be proud, be proud of it. I paid you for it. Yeah, because yeah, you find that here most times people want to claim, oh, I wrote it. Yeah. And then you hear, oh, it was written for them, but the writer will not be renamed. Um, mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> why? The greatest artists in, in the international world, world mm -hmm. 
never really claimed to write their own songs. Yes. Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston didn't write her. Some of her greatest songs were not written, written by her. By and she doesn't her. You know, hide the fact. Sometimes it goes beyond just the music. Yeah. We, we need to be educated about some things. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are not educated about them. And we need to, trust me. Yeah. yeah. So some people just do music. Some people just, you know, love to do music. But they don't really know basics. They don't know nothing okay. about music. Yeah. So as long as they are doing their music, they are fine. Mm. That's what it is. So I think we just need to educate ourselves and we'll be, we'll be good. Because writers make plenty of money. Yeah. Or should be making plenty of money. Well, they should be, yeah. Because Are they making we as much money here? Royalties. Because not really. Yeah, it's just a one-off payment, yeah. obviously. Not, not really. Except you're doing it for a company. Okay. okay. Yeah. So maybe maybe you probably will get paid more than what yeah you know, the yeah. average would yeah average would oh, that sounds paid. interesting to my ear. Mm. I know. I know. You want to become a writer? I think I know how to write, but I've not made money from <laughs> <laughs> writing songs. So is a I don't whole know. Yeah, other thing. Writing songs mm -hmm. is a whole writing other music thing. is a whole, other, a whole thing. other thing. Interesting yeah. that you wrote for Densia. Like when you said Densia, my 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 word. <laughs> really? He's serious. Hmm, she's she is an, an interesting, interesting one, isn't artist. She? she is. Yeah. She is. Trust me. Uh, there was a song she did with Waje. Okay. Really? Yeah. She I wrote. Heard. I wrote the song. Oh, I haven't heard it. Has she released it? No. Yes, it's online. No, maybe What's we just don't want to her fashion than <laughs> it's, her. It's her fashion and white <laughs> and her controversies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and yeah. Her. It's online actually. Okay. Well, it's time for us to take another break. When we come back, Monica is still going to be in the house, and we're going to be talking about our topic of the day, which is Generation Next. Welcome back to the spot. Uh, we have Monica Alga in the house and um, we were talking about her writing before the break. Yeah. And I want to talk about your music now before we go into our topic. What, okay. what genre of music do you do? Okay. You know what? I need to be comfortable. Thank you. I, I'm okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the thing is, you know, sometimes people just, uh, artists just think you have to put yourself in a, in a box. Okay. You know, and stuff. I, I don't really... I like to be as open to every genre as possible. Okay. Yeah. But if you want to if you want to talk about my sound, you would say Afro what would you want to call it? Because I do I mean almost to it. Afro soul pop, like you said. R and B. I, I do high life, reggae, name it. Afro everything. <laughs> yeah. Afro everything. Yeah, no, Let's make a new genre. Yeah, Afro I don't everything. just, I don't just, I don't, I don't like to, be, you know, be be known for just one sound. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a musician, not an artist. Okay. Yeah, I do music. Does that bother you that you define being able to define you will be tough? Uh, no. It doesn't really bother me because, I mean, all I need to do is give my fans what they really want, and everything's fine. Everybody, nobody really wants to know what you're doing, what style of music, mm. as long as you're feeding them with what they really what you know, she, need, yeah. they're fine. Mm. Yeah. Great stuff. Mm. OK. Mm -hmm. Do you All have right. any more questions? Oh. No. Yeah, we'll probably come back we'll to talking come, about Yeah, we'll come, back to, we'll, come, we'll come back to it. No problem. Let's okay, discuss so the topic. Yes. <laughs> it's time for today's topic. And today's topic is Generation Next. Okay. Yes. So basically, we're talking about the current and next generation of Africans. Okay. What we're like, what we love, what we do, what are our issues, what are our challenges. You know, this is a, it's an ever-changing world. Mm -hmm. And I think people sort of in this time have seen so much change drastically in the last 10, 15, 20 years. Like, things have changed dramatically. So with all those changes, how have we sort of, what have we made ourselves into in a sense? Mm -hmm. Have all those changes meant that we've become lazy about work because now there's so many things that do certain things for you? Okay. Like that's kind of, yeah, that's where we're kind of going. That's where we're working. That's what we're talking about yeah. today. So I suppose like we kick off with, you know, well, what do you think the, gen the, the, the current generation of, of Africans are like? What are we like? Like, if you could sum us up in a bit of a, what would, what would we be like? What are we? Um, as, as funny as it might sound, yeah. I would, uh, in summary, I would say we are 
you know, gener we're, we're a chilled generation. Okay. We're a chilled yeah. generation. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what I would say. Too Chil chilled, you know. Too chilled. Uh, yeah. Huh. I was going to say chill in what way? <laughs> Every, everything just, you know, everything just works out for, for us right now. You don't really have to work too hard to okay. get something. In the days of the old, I mean, you go all out to get what you want. You mm. go all out to digital world. Everything is just what chilled. <laughs> what chilled. So that's, you feel like we should be doing more? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's interesting so. that you say that because yeah. we're also that rise and grind, uh, no team, no sleep. <laughs> okay, that will probably be when you when you're coming when you're coming down to the club, mm. the club, you know, aspect of our life. We like to pop. We like to, you know, we just like to flex. And yeah, <laughs> we like to enjoy ourselves. But when it comes to the work part of it, I think we're a little bit laid back. Mm. You know, because technology had make some things easy for us. We don't, we don't need to stress it. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. My dad will always say, um, when I ask him for money that I, I want to go to school, yeah. he would say, do you know how long we used to trek? <laughs> you know? But now people have buses, you have these. I trek 10 kilometers. Uh -huh. you know, st <laughs> oh. Stuff like that, yeah. you know, for, for us in this generation, it's just made easy for us, you know. Mm -hmm. So when, we're, when we want to ball, we ball well. But when it comes to work, some things had already been laid for us. So we're chilled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay. an interesting way to look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think? I think, I think we're a generation of contradictions. I exactly mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So yeah. we're both fortunate and unfortunate. Yeah. Fortunate in the sense that, like you said, a lot of things are in place for us. So yeah. we have technology, we have a better world than our parents had, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But it's also unfortunate because we have a situation where we can't necessarily use these things to the maximum because mm -hmm. of sort of the environments we live in. I'm talking maybe in the Nigerian or African context mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. where there's only so much you can do mm -hmm. that governments will allow, yeah. Yeah. if you know what I mean, yeah. or your environment will allow. So you have all of this technology and all of these opportunities, but there's no lights. Yes. So it's, that one is not in your hands. Yeah. So you're yeah, fortunate enough to have them, but unfortunate because you can't do you much. You can't with maximize. Them. Yeah. You know? yeah. We're also a very empowered generation mm -hmm. because we've been empowered a lot of these things, yeah. but we're not as powerful as we should be. Yeah. Um, you also find that we are very vocal, opinionated, you know, but also very apathetic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you go on Twitter, you go on Facebook, ah, we're abusing government, we're yeah. saying this, they build our roads. Mm -hmm. uh, election time, three people go and vote. You know, so or protest time. Or protest, or when it's time for protest. Is, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. No, well, so we, we know our rights, mm -hmm. we know what we should be doing, mm -hmm. but the doing parts, is, is they compared those. to, I mean, we, I'm not saying people should go out and get killed, but we know how what our parents have gone through. We know mm -hmm. places like South Africa where there were protests on a regular mm -hmm. yeah. against apartheid, mm -hmm. you know, Every country has its own history of fighting for their rights or yeah. fighting for their liberation and yeah. freedom. I don't know that a lot of us are tuned to that now. I mean, yeah. there's, there's Telemundo to watch. Hey! <laughs> That's what no I say. That's what, that's what I say. We like, to, we like to flex. Kind of awesome. We like to chill. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to go on a break right now. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about what Generation Next can do to, you know, really push the boundaries. So please stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching The Spot. Please join in on the conversation about Generation Next via Twitter, via Facebook. And if you'd like, you can also send us an email on entertainment at ebonylifetv.com. So, yes, still talking about Generation Next with mm -hmm. Monica. And um, I was thinking, okay, so we've talked about how our generation sort of is yeah. now. Is this the time where we need to start cultivating the next generation? And what do they need to, like, what, what do you think the next generation by the time they get to our age, should be like? What do you think they're gonna be like? Actually, not even should be like, because we know what things should be like, to be honest, we mm -hmm. all know. Mm -hmm. But what will they be like? What do you think, like when you see your 10, 12, 15 year olds now, like what do you think they're gonna be like when they get to that, you know, grown age? They're maybe 25, 28, 30. Okay, the thing is, um, I, I would preach a better future for them. Okay. Yeah, but it starts from us. Mm -hmm. It is what you feed them with that they'll grow with. So if we do not feed them the right things right now, 
which we're not even doing right to ourselves. Selves. Yeah. You know, I don't know what we expect in the future, but if we if we start acting right, feed them with the right stuff. He talked about you know having the power. We have the power in our hands, but we don't, we're not doing anything yeah, about it and mm -hmm. stuff. Are we educating this? You know, the next generation. Yeah. Are we are we showing them how it goes? In other, <laughs> there's some in some way. If you look at it, if you teach them how to use social media, for instance, yeah. Uh, we're also supposed to guard them so they don't do the wrong things with mm -hmm. them. You get. But if we teach them how to use it and guard them mm -hmm. and tell them, okay, this is a tool. Do you get? If you if you want to speak with this, you can. Yeah. If you want to, you know, air out a view with this, you can. If you if you want to change the mindset or a system, you can mm. by just airing out your opinion. Mm -hmm. If we tell them. You know, stuff like that and but some other things. But don't send nudes. But don't send nudes. <laughs> <laughs> don't send exactly nudes. what I'm <laughs> So if we're, yeah. if, we're, if we're teaching them, we also have the, 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 the tendency to get stuff like that. Yeah. But at the same time, we need to also... Protect them, in a sense. Protect them. Mm. There are so many things we need to, to talk about. I don't, you know, honestly, I don't so know. Life is so different now. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. And it's, I think it's a genuine worry from young parents today, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. guardians, uncles, aunties, who have people, let's say, under 10 yeah. around them. Because, I mean, when we were growing up, like you said, it was, it was easy for your parents to leave home, yeah. right? Worst case, you went out to play, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you broke a leg or you hurt yourself <laughs> or your, neighbors, your neighbor beat you up. It's, it's not necessarily a genuine fear of, what you're going to be exposed to, to that they won't know of. Yeah. It's, if you're going to be exposed to anything, it's mostly around your environment. Right. We live in a world now where your seven, six year old even knows how to Google something that Google basic. And can Google mm -hmm. anything. Or can be in contact with or, mm -hmm. yeah. or be preyed upon from goodness yeah. knows where yeah. in the comfort mm -hmm. of their own home. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that can become a physical danger. Mm -hmm. You know, we've heard stories of somebody who was contacting people via Facebook or whatever, and they eventually came and kidnapped the you mm -hmm. know, person or knew where he was going to be or mm -hmm. she was going to yeah. be. So, yeah, those are definitely it's real fears. Right. And it's, it's okay. easy to say, oh, my children will not use phones. They will not have laptops. Yeah. They will not. But it's not true. You but can't. it's not what happens because they have friends. Yeah. They go to school. You have other kids who will have these things yeah. who they would oh, I want to go for sleepover in uh, Cynthia's house they go there these things are there so there's very it's it's a journey where it's yeah. like how do we actually police kids yeah. going forward I don't yeah. know I don't know which is which is the yeah. kind of the my sort of biggest worry about the next generation yeah. in a sense I don't know that we are the best examples mm -hmm. exactly I know that <laughs> our, like our parents generation and grandparents generation is like you know I'm um, it, in my own life, they say things like that. You know, I've heard my uncles and great aunts things say that. Yeah. In my own lifetime, I won't see this, but I hope that in your lifetime, you will see things get better. Meanwhile, they're almost at the end, some of them, of mm -hmm. their own lifetimes, mm -hmm. and they're, they're like, ah, but you guys are not working towards this thing so that you will see it in your own mm -hmm. lifetime. How can that be? So there's that frustration of you guys aren't really doing the things that you're supposed to do. And I'm not sure why. I don't know. It, it, it's not enough of the current, I guess, crop of young people are concerned mm. yeah. enough to make a, an actual move. Yeah. We yeah. I think we'll become a online. more me generation yeah. where our parents were more communal. Yeah. So you knew your neighbors, you went for village meetings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those things were important to our parents. Mm -hmm. So you, you were very in touch with your nephews, your cousins, your distant uncles. Now we're more about, I need yes. to achieve this. I yeah. need to hammer. I yeah. need to so it's blow, just you know? Tunnel it's, vision. We're more centered now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where, I mean, it was impossible to live in the 80s and let's say even early to mid 90s and not know your neighbor. Yeah. Now people live five, six, seven years. Yeah. In the same flat. I'm not even talking neighbor now. You don't like know your upstairs neighbor's building. name. And you don't know the next I don't know who's, yeah. who's yeah. living right opposite mm. you. So we're more it's desensitized to everything else. So, so we need to also watch from. that too. Yeah, yeah hmm? I think that's what we, I stand We also from. need to watch that too, Abby. Yeah. Very important I mean, the topic is a very, is a very vast. <laughs> yeah, there's so much. Do you understand? Yes, there's but so much to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go on a break. Let's share with us what you think we need to do. We need help. 
<laughs> so if you have any solutions, please tweet at us, send us your Facebook messages, and of course, we'd love to hear from you. We'll see you in a moment. Hey guys, welcome back to The Spot. We've been talking Generation Next with the wonderful, talented Monica Oga. And there was something that I was thinking about, um, you know, while I was thinking about the topic in general, okay. about the issues that this generation has had to deal with or is dealing with a lot. Um, and there are issues that are like sort of in the forefront, especially to do with Africa. One of them is culture mm -hmm. and how it affects gender. So like sexism, ageism even. And um, I was thinking, what do, you th what do you think are the, the big, like those big isms or issues <laughs> that, you know, it's always an ism, isn't it? Feminism. Um, feminism, sexism, ageism, mm -hmm. racism. But we don't have racism here, really. Tribalism. Tribalism um, that affect us now and that you would like to see phased out mm -hmm. before the next generation or by the next generation. Hmm. Hmm. I probably spent here, have <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, the, like I said before, the topic is vast. I know. It's I'm deep, wondering deep. where I should start, you know, yeah. you know. Anyway, just that Tribalism stuff definitely the thing is, will top my list. Yeah. Tribalism. Yeah, tribalism. tribalism. I mean, you, okay. you think it's, it's, it's something that is, it may not be as deep as you find racism in South Africa or mm -hmm. the USA, mm -hmm. where it's blatant and there's actually hate behind it. But you find here that it's one of our biggest problems in Nigeria yeah. with regards to Actually, everything. Everything. You know, who you do oh, business with, who yeah. you rent a home yeah. to, people don't who want you to rent. date. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. every, you know, it's very true because that, I, when yeah. I was looking for a house, the, the landlord was like, okay, if you're not married, uh -huh, I can't give you, I can't I can, I can let you into my house. That. Do you understand? Yoruba landlords or Yoruba landlords say, we're not renting to so and so because you're not from my tribe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. government appointments. You have the most qualified person. Oh, he's not Hausa. No. Yeah. You know, things as simple as that. And you wonder, how do you stop it switch that off yeah you know and it's not even getting any better because we are also honestly it's what we've known yeah. forever growing yeah. up yeah. sometimes your parents or people around you impart it without necessarily wanting to yeah but in conversations in talks about like what stereotypes are yeah it just sticks with you ah yeah. please though even people it, they mean, like money mm. they will use me and do jazz oh you people are too dirty don't go you know things mm. like that yeah. and it just becomes a thing in your yeah. head you know yeah. Yeah. the first day you come home and say oh i found your wife where is she from hey, you want to kill me you know yeah and you know it's so you're already scared first of all to even date anybody outside mm -hmm. your tribe yeah mm -hmm. to start with but but i think racism is even worse yeah Thankfully, we don't have Thankfully that. Thankfully, we don't here. have it here. Yeah. That's but the I mean, thing. it's a thing mm -hmm. yeah. worldwide for sure. Yeah. And, I mean, people are getting killed for that. Yeah. Most definitely. You know, and the thing is, I pray it doesn't get into, because it's actually gradually eating deep mm -hmm. into us right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially those of us that didn't grow up, you know, that grew up he uh, outside this place. Outside of okay. Nigeria, you get yeah. me? Yeah. It's growing into our ideas. Mm. Yeah. You get me? So I just, I just hope that it doesn't get into this part of the world. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because it's really a huge problem. Amen, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Amen, girl. I, I, I would say sexism is a huge one. I know it's a worldwide issue, mm -hmm. but since we're talking Africa now, you know, Nigeria, which is where I live, where I work, where I do everything, yeah. you know, I just, I'm really hoping that that is something that will be not so much of an issue for mm -hmm. the next generation. Um, as modern and whatever as we are, our culture as Africans sometimes mean that automatically, as a woman, you are less. You are less than. And you are less than at work. You're less than at home. You're mm -hmm. less than when you're driving in your car. You're less than when you go to the market. You're less than almost everywhere. And I feel like that is a battle that I, is, I wish that mm -hmm. the next generation and the one after that won't have to fight as hard. Mm -hmm. And at some point, it will be a battle that you mm -hmm. don't, you barely have to fight. It might just be like the odd random person, but it won't be like, eight out of ten people yeah. that you deal with, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's probably like one of my huge... It's gradually changing. I don't think so. And but that's the most disappointing thing. From the all, things I've seen... I don't seen, think that we are... I mean, we're fighting. Ladies are fighting gender equality, gender equality and stuff. Mm -hmm. But... You don't think the fight is yielding anything? I, I think that the systems and our culture... Mm. Will always hinder it. Will hin yeah. They've been hindering it. There's definitely been improvements. Yeah. You know, just has been... You know, it's 
all over there have been improvements you know now of course you know like for example you know, where women can vote and you know i know that laws have changed in certain places where women can inherit mm -hmm. you know and Proposing. things like that and that's great but you know the little battles you know it's, it's usually the yeah. little things you know the big things sometimes can change but the people implementing it like you know it's not a law for example that a woman cannot bail you out mm -hmm. if you know if uh, if a family member was put in prison mm -hmm. if your husband's in prison mm -hmm. it's not a law mm -hmm. but if you go to the station i hear they tell you you can't bail you can't bail them out because you're a woman mm. you know so those kinds of things like that's why is that if i have the money and i am uh, you know and related to the person or whatever i should be able to do that but I can't. So things like that, you know. Well, I just yeah. think gradually it will fade away. I think this I generation, believe. with things like that, I yeah. want to believe that we're a little less um, sexist. Okay. Yeah. Um, we grew up more, I mean, I think some of our parents at mm -hmm. least grew up with that notion that, oh, maybe girls, guys went to school, girls did it. Yeah. You know, they grew yeah. up knowing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or they were distinct lines. Yeah. If uh, this guy goes to school, comes back, he doesn't get to do the dishes or go to the kitchen. He does. It might still be happening now, but it's a little Much less blurred less. now. Most yeah. parents now yeah. don't really care. Yeah. My friend, yeah. go and do your dishes, whether you're the guy or the, or the girl. girl. So we are a little less sexist. Mm -hmm. yeah. So little issues like that will start changing, of course. Yeah. And of course, laws will start falling out and, you know, things will balance out. But everywhere in the world, sexism is still, it's an, still issue, an issue. still an issue, exactly. Even in the most developed yeah. countries. Yeah. So there will always be, yeah. sadly, those things that would be a problem yeah. with regards to oh, a woman can't do this or a guy mm. must do this yeah. and stuff like that. So that would always be there. Religion is also a big deal. Mm. And um, <laughs> this is both Christian and Muslim. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things that hinder, yeah. oh, God says don't or God yeah. says you must, yeah. you know. And we're very, very attached to our spiritual leaders in Nigeria. Christian, pastors, imams. Mm -hmm. My pastor said this, so, it you know, so it. it's yeah. the law. And nobody's saying don't go to church. Nobody's mm -hmm. saying don't believe in whatever you want yeah. to believe in. But we have found in so many instances where it's actually been what's hindering our progress as a nation. Yeah. You know, yes. and we pay more attention to the person speaking the representative for of, for who you worship who you and worship. you end up worshiping your representative actually practicing yeah. yeah what it is you believe in but yes true. indeed true. that's a controversial topic i tell so you so we're gonna take a break from that <laughs> one i come back and try and conclude our conversation please stay with us <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. You're still watching The Spot. It's almost actually time to go, but before we do, shall we do social roundup, okay. social media roundup first? Okay, so this is just where we get feedback or questions from social media mm -hmm. and we read them out. So this one is from Facebook. Leila, Leila Nankunda from Uganda says, I love the show, I always watch whenever I can. Much love from Kampala. Thank you, I always like that when- Can you come and visit Uganda? I know, right? So um, also from, well, from Twitter, Omotanwa at Tanwali says, ever since they insinuated that some guests have had B.O., body odor, I'm always trying to guess if the person <laughs> on the show is booming. When did we insinuate? Hey, please, oh. Ebuka, when did yes, you we did insinuate. Did we? Yes. We actually talked about the one guest. Oh, we did. Oh, yes. we did. <laughs> Sorry, we did. We had one person come in, and it was, it was emotionally yeah, And it disturbing. was very unexpected, because oh. it was someone who were like, Fresh person, oh. as in you know, as per <laughs> always fine, you know. And then the place was oozy. Yeah, yeah. It was a shame, but nobody yeah. else since then. Yeah, Monica smells else. great. Everybody oh, else. Monica. I can show you. She fresh says. like the Are you easy. sure? <laughs> or when I leave here now? No, I trust myself. Don't worry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you Confidence. already know that. Self confidence. Yes. Is, <laughs> don't worry, smell good. Uh, the last <laughs> message is also from Twitter from Iyani Wura. She's not a fan. A pass. She says, "Oh well." Okay, she says, I love your program, but, but can you add some va va voom to it? Some exciting guests, maybe, new segments? I don't know which day you watched the show that you didn't enjoy it. Um, can, you, can you send us suggestions? Yeah, let us know Actually, what you would like to see. What would you like to see? So, who I mean, would you like to see? Yeah, who would you like to see? What kind of segments would you like to see? What's your idea of va va voom? Yes, maybe that some not, inserts. That we're not vooming with, yet. With some, something jazzy? <laughs> yeah? We'll do our best because we love our fans. We love our supporters. Yeah. Yes, we do. Do you have any questions for us or comments? Perhaps? I maybe? mean, I love this show. Yeah. I'm so honored to be here. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, honored that you All came. I have to say is I'm grateful. 
Aww. and I'm proud to be here. Aww. And trust me, I would do this again and again. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna sing for us before you go. <gasps> you want me to sing for you? Okay, so before you sing, now, let's just find out what's yes, what's coming up for you. Yeah, singles, oh. album. Yeah, mm -hmm. singles, concerts. Singles. Uh, mm. A lot. <laughs> the thing is, a lot of people have been requesting for my album, but I'm going to keep dropping singles until the whole world Knows. says, where is your album? Yeah. They're really hungry for it. Yes, yeah. that's what I want. Then I'll not okay. give them the album. Are you going to do... Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, continue. Oh, listening. No, no, I was going to say, are you going to do like any like unplug... You know, like those small, the small, like just 50 or 100 with, like, people? Like, I would your, love your that. Fans. That sure. I would love to Sure, come sure, to. definitely. Yeah. You okay. get the invite first. Trust me. Tons. You will. Okay. I mean, I dropped the single last uh, last month. Okay. I'm, I'm working on the video right now. It's titled My Way. Okay. Working on the video right now. And a couple of other singles and huge collaborations. So, Ooh. for now. Girl, girl. Like, Looking yeah. forward to it. All these secretive people. <laughs> you will be telling us things. Oh, yeah. Before we go, just okay. look at that camera. Give us okay. a nice, melodious uh, sing Aww. out. He wants <laughs> me to sing for him. What do I sing for you now? You can sing okay. everything. Ah, hey, hey, she's moving. Okay. No, I just to want to sit up. She's right. going to be swift. Oh, yeah. No, let me just sit okay. up. Right. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> um, when I look through my window, oh, what's in I see? They just they blow my brain. It ain't make me they go insane. Do you want to know what's in I see? I saw Ebuka on <laughs> the spot. <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you. Love thank you very it. much mm -hmm. for thank you coming. Yes, thank Good you. luck with everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank Continue you. writing. Make sure you get your checks. <laughs> sure. Get that money. It's very important. Sure. Don't let anybody collect your market. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Monica, do you have anything else to add? Um, no, just, you know, wishing you the best of luck. I love your dress, by the way. Thank you very I much. I hope to go home with it. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> now remove it. Ah, uh, <laughs> we're not here, Sha. It's not that kind of show. Um, no. But um, yeah, wishing you all the best and hoping that, you know, this generation will support you and your work. Oh, thank you so you much. You know what I mean? Thank I think so it's much. important for us to support our people. Mm -hmm. you know? This generation of the female artists. This generation of, of mm. all the artists, even. That's well, she said, topic she, did say she, said, she said she's not an artist, though. She said she's a musician. Musician, musician. yeah. She's not an artist. Yeah. Not I an apologize. Artist. Yeah. Okay. What's the difference? The fact that you understand music and you could do music from every situation, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I can give you something from here right now, mm -hmm. but that will be next episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That means you have to come back. All right, guys. Well, it is time to go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Monica for coming and that Thank lovely you for song having you just gave me. us. Um, we will you. see you guys next time here on the spot. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Please sign our wall. Oh, we have it, we'll